Hi guys, my name is Kate and today I will show you how to make this out of this. Now I have an amazing guitar in my hands. My boyfriend painted it and I think that this work deserves your attention. Look how beautiful it! And in this video I'm going to show you how he painted it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and enjoy watching! Meet Fyodor and his favorite guitar. The first thing to do before painting is to prepare the surface. It was very strange to watch him ruthlessly remove the strings, because usually he treated them very carefully, but not at this time. I think you noticed that the body is covered with fabric. It was 16 years ago when he bought it. He wanted to make a guitar in his own style and he came up with an easy way to glue with fabric with a camouflage pattern. A lot of time has passed and now it looks shabby and sloppy because it's fabric. Its fibers roofed up, in some places it was covered with dust and stuff like that. So the guitar is disassembled. Now he needs to grind it and to remove the old layer of paint and glue from it. To do this he uses P400 cent paper. Another important step is to wash all details with alcohol. Now he needs to level the surface. Before that, Fyodor carved special parts out of wood to fill holes in the guitar body, because he removed the cups that he didn't use, leaving only one humbucker. It's double pickup. These wooden parts are glued and screwed to the body of the guitar. Wood body. Color is not important here. The main thing is that the surface is perfectly smooth. After putting it on, he took P1000 in paper and processed all parts of the guitar. Fyodor decided that he wanted to change the shape of the neck. It was a spontaneous decision. Let me tell you a little about the future drawing on the guitar. Fyodor wanted to repeat one famous guitar model and decided to use this pattern. Yes, this is also camouflage, but more geometric, with clear shapes. For this drawing he chose four paint colors – black, white, light grey and dark grey. And of course, the final layer is varnish. At first he bought a glossy one, but then he changed his mind and changed it to a matte varnish in the store. Let's go back to the garage. It's time to apply the first coat of paint. He uses white color for the body of the guitar and black color for the neck. He used masking tape and he sells all the parts that don't need to be painted. The paint dries for about an hour. But from experience it turned out that it's better to dry for 6 or 12 hours and only then apply the next layer. On another day, when the first layers of paint had dried, Fyodor sealed the front panel of the case and he painted the back of the case black. We couldn't paint in the flat, 
but there was a wind every day on the outside and he had to dodge the breeze so as not to stick to the body of the guitar. The most interesting and difficult part of the process is drawing. For each layer it was necessary to draw a drawing by hand and stick tape. Fyodor will apply the drawing gradually. The white color is already on the guitar, so now he is sticking up all the pieces except for the light gray. To prevent the paint from flowing under the adhesive tape, he applies a matte varnish before each new color. Now you can see that happens. We were very eager to peel of the layers of adhesive tape. We wanted to see how it was painted. But if you peel it off too early, there will be uneven borders. Therefore, you need to be paint and wait for the paint to dry completely. Next will be a dark grey color. The actions are the same. It's necessary to glue all the pieces of the guitar except for the dark grey color and apply a matte varnish. The last color is black. After peeling of the adhesive tape, uneven borders of paint and marks from the adhesive tape are visible. Matte varnish hides these errors very well. The result is a smooth surface. He applied two layers of matte varnish at the end. When all the parts are dry, he can assemble the guitar, solder the pickup and jack. Here you can see how Fyodor is screwing on the neck, putting on the knobs in place and attaching the bridge. He wanted to stylize the guitar completely, so he sealed the frets with silver tape in the shape of triangles. Fretboard markers don't look fake, but up close it's clear that it's tape. With someone, you are and so it remains to stretch the strings and tune the guitar and put new strap on the guitar. It took 7 days to fully paint the guitar. Now guitar looks completely different. I like the result. The guitar looks like a Jackson. It was a fairly easy way to customize a guitar. Don't forget to like and subscribe.
Bye bye.